The old district of the castle city of Navpaktus, known as the Upper City, is on the second level. A long extension of walls in the east, leading to a strong Venetian circular rampart built in an extremely dominant position, is a gateway. This northeast gate is known as the Falsoporti Gate. The wall turns west, thus attaining an east-west direction over the craggy eastern slope of the castle and safeguards the high-lying citadel. The medieval wall is preserved to its maximum height, 15 meters, as is visible from the foundation level up to the crenellation, and it is reinforced with strong rectangular bastions. A lower bulwark, bearing gun loopholes in its higher part, extends outside and parallel to the east wall. The Venetians formed a semicircular bastion and a reinforced observatory with a monumental gate which is decorated with a relief plaque with the Lion of St. Mark, symbol of Venice. The relief plaque can be seen from the south side of this bastion, located right below the peripheral curved stone frieze at the top of its masonry, typically Venetian, that still decorates its grey, sullen face. The Venetian bastion massive and imposing, in the shape of a truncated cone, presents an architectural and structural resemblance to the large bastion of the castle of St. George in Cephalonia. The location of the Falsoporti gate in which it was built is dominant and carefully chosen to allow the defenders to protect, with cannons with which it was equipped, the entire southeastern side of the walls of Navpaktus and its main gate which was located on this side and was called Metropolitan. There were two inscriptions on the bastion and a Latin date, 1460, from which we can determine the exact date of its construction. Its battlements have been destroyed and only one round opening for a mid-caliber gun of the 15th century survives today. From the middle of the 19th century, the semi-bastion lost its military value and its war destination, but continued to offer its services to the inhabitants, who used the floor of its paved terrace as a threshing floor until the 1960s. On the north side of the Venetian bastion, the Turks built a gloomy, massive fortress of simple rectangular shape with extremely thick and solid masonry with a vaulted gunpowder depot and a guard room built on the side where the Venetian bastion was built. As soon as we enter the inner door of the low arched gate, we find ourselves in the intermediate inner built space of the gate, which has a vaulted imposing portico with a steep downhill slope externally invisible. The linear decoration of the dome emphasizes the plasticity of its volume and at the same time gives it grandeur. The fortress has a gate with two doors from which the upper city communicated with the outside world. For the stability of the arcuate, double wooden, ironclad doors, there were fixed supports that are still preserved in the stone pillars. The outer door on the east side of the upper city the inner door can be seen from its opening. So this gateway consists of an entrance door that has a 90 degree turning path attached to an oblique shape bastion, which describes the name given to this gate as falso porti, a compound word made up of two nouns, falso, oblique, and porta, door, falso porti or falso porta. Above the gate, on the outer masonry, we can observe the existence of a recess. There, the Turks had certainly immured a relief plaque decorated with deterrent symbols to protect the gate and the castle from misfortunes and vicious invisible forces, just as is the case with the gate of the castle of Menevasia, above which reliefs of deterrent symbols have been placed. A coat of arms was certainly fixed on this particular recess when the Venetians ruled the castle city of Nafpaktos.